For the long and short, I'm going to go ahead and do one long stitch on the left side of the box. And then this is just going to be a series of long and short stitches, as it says. There's nothing you have to do to be super consistent. Just alternate the length of your stitches. Here I'll do a series of, here's a short one, and then a longer one, and then a short one. And then I come up from the top and kind of match the stitches down below and just fill it in with varying lengths. Now, this can kind of seem silly when it's just a square or a rectangle, but it makes a little bit more sense when you're filling in an oddly shaped object. This might be better for you with the heart where you might have trouble getting your satin stitch super straight and even. But again, we're just gonna alternate short stitch, long stitch, just varying lengths, just to fill in the entire space. Just make sure you're always going in the same direction. So all of my stitches are going vertically here, straight up and down. And for both of these, I'm using three strands again. You're gonna see more of the stitches if you use more threads. And then I'll show you a real life example here of how I use this in a pattern. I worked on this nature pattern and as you can see, the trees turn as they go up. So I did my long and short stitches with six strands here for more texture. And I turned my stitches in as I started to go up the tree to follow the shape. 